Welcome back to Power Lunch, everybody, and it's time for Tech Check. Let's talk about a big example of Apple's power, that when it makes a seemingly minor decision, it can have a pretty major impact. Christina Partsinevelis and Steve Kovac are here with us now to dive into uh, this latest chapter. Christina, what's going on here? Well, serious logic, the stock is down, what, 12% right now. Why? Because one really, really popular Apple analyst, Ming-Chi Kuo, he put out a report today saying that Apple is no longer going to change their buttons on their iPhone 15 to a solid state. So what that means, and we, Steve what and I, buttons? I know, <laughs> we had a huge discussion upstairs about it, and we managed to find an older phone. This is the uh, iPhone 8, where the old, this button here, like you don't need to press down or anything. It's not a mechanical button. It's, exactly. a, it's a pressure sensitive True. button. So iPhone 15s were supposed to have these buttons on the side because it's cleaner. I know you'll get into oh, that. Oh, instead of the volume up exactly. and down. Exactly. You know, when the, the hard ones, you're really struggling. You're pushing all the time and it's not working. And so Apple, according to this analyst, is Apple is going to stick with these original buttons because of uh, technical issues within the production line. And so that's causing Cirrus logic to drop because they are a supplier of for said these, buttons. Phantom these, buttons. Like, these fake non buttons. Non-button buttons. Non -button buttons. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah. the solid like, state why, buttons. Why is why the actual actual 88 percent of the revenue comes from Apple, by the wow. way. Yeah. So, so it's why, a big deal. Why don't they just put zippers on? It's yeah, exactly, like, right? The right. So well, there's a reason behind so, this, Tyler. Yeah, to give me yeah, the what, reason. What, you're probably asking yourself, what's wrong with a regular old button, right? Yeah, <laughs> I am. This is really interesting. Years ago, when Apple first started doing this, I talked to someone at Apple, and they told me it's China. Chinese customers love to keep their phones in pristine condition because it's seen as like, you know, a prized item that they might want to resell, you know, two, three, four years down the road. And even though this isn't true, there's a perception that the more you press the button, the, you know, it wears out over time, mm. therefore damaging the resale value. So it's really funny. They want to do this because there's no mechanical button. Therefore, there's nothing to wear out. It, it helps Chinese customers. It's just a selling point for them. You know, I'd be curious if it would actually work, though, because most people put a case on. And half right. the reason those side buttons get stuck is between the side buttons themselves and the case on top, you often kind of get slippage. And so exactly. to use a non-button button would maybe amplify those Well, they're, they're pressure sensitive. Sensitive too, so you know, even with the case, as long as you got pressed down, right? It'll exactly. Yeah, so then that just means what you have to buy more products to add to your iPhone, right? Just to uh, get a <laughs> new case, like yeah. we we had with all of the uh, iPod Beats and, and iPod the charging Pros cables. and the charging. It's all away, but it, it's serious logic. You just the fact that the stock is having its worst performance in two years just shows again, like you talked about at the top, just the power of Apple and and how many suppliers play into these iPhone 15s, which. And uh, heavily revenue dependent. Again, yeah, this right. is this is just one of many suppliers, but well, 88% talked, is not nothing, right? No, it's a huge. We talked about TSMC uh, last hour. Obviously, they're in the news, another major Apple, uh, part of the Apple ecosystem, mm -hmm. if you will. And one of the things that I think has surprised people is just going back to the big picture demand issue here. Sentiment on Apple in general in the market has turned kind of poor because they say, well, if we're going into a downturn, these are still expensive uh, hardware items that people are going to slow their purchases on. So we see both Apple and Taiwan Semi having this kind of post-pandemic slump that's a a little bit bigger than expected. They're not able to withstand what seems like this post-pandemic turn towards a softer economy at the same time. Two points to that. We have to keep in mind that Apple is the biggest client for TSMC, which is why it's really relevant to talk about that relationship. But I do think, and I know Steve has talked about this before, there's a difference between the iPhone 15, which is expected to be pretty good, versus, let's say, the Apple Macs and, and PC shipments, which have not been good. So for TSMC especially, they're creating the three nanometer chips that are going to go into the iPhone 15. That's supposed to be uh, a, a positive for the sure. company and help ride it out versus all the, the decrease in, in uh, PC shipments.